Hey everyone, it's Mrs. PM here, and today we are going to continue our talk about complementary colors and create a spider web with a spider. So we need a couple of materials today. If you don't have that, feel free to improvise, but something you absolutely will need is liquid glue and salt and probably something to catch the salt on. You can use a Tupperware or something else. I'm using a paper plate. You're also gonna need a string, a ribbon, a anything that has thread, anything, scissors. We can go ahead and we're just gonna cut about a little bit off. So you just need one little piece of string like this. Okay. You'll need paint brushes. You'll need two pieces of paper. One piece of paper I want to be one of the primary colors. And the primary colors are yellow, blue, and red. So I chose yellow. You may choose blue or red. And then you'll need a black piece of paper. Setting the black piece of paper aside. You're gonna also need some watercolor. So I have my watercolor brushes. I have my watercolors here set up in complementary colors. Um, set up in the color wheel to show you the complementary colors. So red and green, orange and blue, yellow and purple. Purple, yellow and purple, pointed to the opposite. So these are your complementary colors. They're all pointing at each other. They're across from the color wheel. Okay, so starting with our piece of paper, I'm gonna put this aside so I don't accidentally hit it. We are going to put a dot in the center of your paper. I'm gonna do it landscape, but you can do it portrait. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put a dot right in the center. Then we're gonna take our ruler, and from that dot, we are going to draw lines to the edge of the paper. Very soft lines to the edge of the paper. And you can decide how close or far apart you want your lines to be. You don't really want them to be too close together because we're gonna use glue over top these lines and we don't want the glue to seep all the way in. But you don't want them too far apart where it's not as interesting. So from our dot to the outside of our paper, lightly coloring with the ruler. Probably do about two more. There we go. So now you have something like this. And then from here, you're gonna do about, let's, let's see, since we're in the center, one, two, three, yeah. So probably five U's. So you draw, so we're gonna draw a U in between these lines. Like that. One, two, three. Okay, this one I'm only gonna do four. And then I'm gonna do again, and I'm gonna connect it from the same spot. From that same corner, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, to the outside. And then from that same spot, I'm gonna do it again, just drawing U's in our space. One, two, three, so now we don't have that, so I'm just gonna envision that it's right here. It would probably come through right there. Four. So I use my imagination a little bit for that one. Keeping that up, coming from that same spot, just drawing a U. One, two, three, four. See how it's looking? It's looking pretty cool. Then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two. We might only get three on this one because it's so short. Three. Yep, I only got three. And see how I'm kind of envisioning that line continuing out? And I'm thinking it's going to be here. And if this lines, they would meet here. So I'm still having these meet. I'm just kind of using my imagination on where they would meet. And then from that same point, one, two, three. Again, I'm pretending like it's coming here. And go like that. Four. A few more times. One, two. Oh, and I'm going to have to add it back in. And meeting the corners up. One. Skip the bottom one. Two. And three. And there we go. So now you can see the outline of our spider web. And so this is gonna be really fun. We're gonna take liquid glue, and if you don't have liquid glue, you can use a black crayon or a white crayon, but it's, I really recommend maybe pausing this and getting the liquid glue, because this is a lot of fun. Whoa, okay. So, I just made a mistake, that's okay. Rubbing it in my hands, rubbing that glue together. Okay, so then we're going to trace our lines with the liquid glue. And you're going to draw over your lines with the glue. So I'm going to halfway my to go halfway around my paper so that my hand doesn't get glue all over it. And then I'm going to fill in these U's. Might make this a little thicker. Just be careful not to get your hand in the glue. I know it's kind of hard. You don't even have to touch your paper with the glue. Doing these lines. All right, so now I'm gonna look and just see if I need any spots a little thicker with glue. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna think right here maybe. And see how like the thick spots actually make it look more like a spider's web? So you don't have to be a super big perfectionist with this. And then from here, this is the messy part. You might think that the glue is already messy. Even more. <laughs> we are going to take salt. 
and cover your paper with salt. Go all over the glue. And so already you might be freaking out that it's so messy. You may want to do this in like a plastic bin. You're welcome to do that. You definitely want to get all that glue covered. Okay. And then I'm going to take my piece of paper. I'm going to slowly lift this up. See how the salt is sticking to the glue. Move it to the center. And I'm going to dump the salt on my plate. clean up a little bit. I need to clean up a bit. So I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to dump my tray in the trash. Definitely gonna need to vacuum, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's worth it. Hopefully yours was a little cleaner than mine, but it's okay if not. Okay, so next, take your watercolor and whatever color paper you chose, choose the complementary color of that paper. So I chose yellow and my little circle is, is messed up but across from yellow is purple, so I'm gonna choose purple. If you chose blue, you're going to pick orange watercolor. And if you chose red, you're gonna do green watercolor because we are doing the complementary color. So, so I chose purple and I'm going to get my watercolor really wet, fill my whole brush with paint, And remember, you are using the complementary color of whatever your paper is that you chose. And you're going to take your brush and you're just going to touch the salt. Put my water over here. And see how it spreads? Isn't that cool? I'm just gonna touch the spots where the salt is. You don't even need to watch me right now because I am doing the same thing you're doing. I'm just touching myself. You can just enjoy your piece of work as you cover it with the complementary color. You watch it spread. Noticing how the complementary color stands out really nice. Because complementary colors are used by artists to create striking visual effects and 
to create contrast and emphasis. All right, there we go. So we're gonna get a black piece of paper and we are going to fold it in half like a hot dog, like a hot dog bun. So fold it in half like a hot dog bun. And actually, before we do that, get your string, put a dot of glue somewhere on your paper, wherever you want your, your spider to be. So I think I want mine. I'm gonna put a dot of glue right there. And I'm gonna take the tip of my string and press it into the glue. And we're gonna let that dry while we cut this. So where's your pencil? Get your pencil. And we are going to draw a small circle, a large circle, and then eight rectangles. So here is a circle about an inch, a circle about two and a half inches, and then one rectangle, just like that. Can you see? I'm not sure. There it is. One, two, three, Four, anyone want to guess five, what these are going to be? Six, seven, eight. They are going to be the spider's legs because they have eight crazy legs. And here we go. And now we are going to cut that out. I'm gonna do a little trick here. I'm going to cut down each of those lines. You can cut your shapes out however you want to, whatever you think is best. And when we fold our paper in half and cut along the crease, we create some, we create symmetrical shapes.
and I'm just going to come in and I am going to, actually I'm going to have 16 legs if I do this, cut down the line and I'll have lots of legs to pick from. Boom. All right, cutting my circles. I've an itty bitty spider this time. And while that glue still dries, we are gonna assemble our spider. So I want you to put the glue on the side that has your pencil marks so that you don't see your pencil marks. You're gonna put a little dot on the top or bottom of your small circle. That was a big dot but you do a little dot and then you're gonna attach it to the body. Then we're gonna flip it over and we're going to put glue on each leg and we're going to attach it to body and a little bit of glue goes a really long way something I constantly need to remind myself because I have a tendency to use too much glue but hopefully you are better at glue than I am so it's dripping out everywhere so four legs on each side, even though I have a ton of legs now. Just do four on each side. And while our spider rise well we're going to do one more piece of glue and we're going to put it on the spider's bottom just a drop because we want the the silk the string to come from the bottom of the spider look my string started turning purple that's actually cool a little happy surprise okay and we've attached the spider to the web and we're gonna just let that dry and we're going to answer some reflection questions and we're gonna come back and see what it looks like. <laughs> 